Now, from 21 Alive Plus, this is your FastCast. Hey, good morning. Temperatures in the 40s as you get ready to head out the door. So another cold start to the day. We're down to 48 degrees in Fort Wayne. I'm expecting us to be in the 40s for the next hour or two, but we start to warm up pretty quickly once we get past that. Sunrise today is just past 730, so we're not too far from that mark, and that's going to help us out pretty much. As we go into the afternoon and evening, temperatures today are going to get warmer than what we saw yesterday, and I am expecting a lot of sunshine for today, a high of 77 degrees here in Fort Wayne. Going forward for the next week, really not tracking a whole lot of anything. No big weather systems coming through. We have a weak front coming in tomorrow. That's what brings us that very small little isolated chance for a rain shower on Friday. But I think at this point, almost all of us are going to end up going scot-free, not looking at any wet weather coming our way and really no major swings in temperatures. If anything, we're really ping-ponging back and forth over the next week between temperatures in the 60s and 70s, Jess. That's not too bad. I mean, no. it's fall-like weather. It's not too chilly yet, except mm -mm. for these mornings. I'm not loving the morning temperatures. Yeah. The mornings are a, a little cool, but hey, you know what? Next week, several mornings in the 40s. So <gasps> get used okay. to it. It's that time of year. Okay, I'll mentally prepare. Yep. <laughs> Okay, our main story here this morning, again, is just continuing coverage of this hurricane that's devastating the South. Two former Fort Wayne residents, their names are Maxwell and Tiana Miller, live in Bernardsville, North Carolina, which was impacted by the hurricane. And now they're coming back to Fort Wayne to get resources and just have a place to stay for a few days. They sent us these videos showing the damage down there. And as their community deals with the aftermath of Hurricane Helene, like I said, they decided to come back with their four kids and get resources and just have somewhere safe. The family says it really was one of the hardest moments of their life. You know, at one point we were standing on our front porch and watching watching this water rush uh, and a refrigerator actually came and flowed down and flowed over the bridge. It didn't go under it, flew, flowed right over the bridge. And at that point, the panic, you know, fully set in for us. You know, we've got to make sure that our kids are safe, that we're safe. So terrifying. Maxwell is heading back there this weekend, but we do have a link to donate to a GoFundMe for them and other people in their community, and that's on our website, 21alivenews.com. And two Fort Wayne businesses are collecting items to take to hurricane victims in North Carolina. The Buchanan family and Miller's All Day Food Truck have a goal of filling 20 trucks to take down there. They say after Hurricane Katrina, they sent 18 to 20 trucks and they want to do the same now. So they're asking for things like non-perishable foods, toiletries, cleaning supplies, pet food and more. When it's far away like that, you don't realize how bad it really is. And, you know, to help a community. That's one of our values here at Buchanan is community. And even though, you know, we have 12 drivers that live there, the community is our nation. So we're just trying to help out. Those donations can be dropped off at Buchanan Logistics on Executive Boulevard between 8 and 5 until next Wednesday. Okay, Liz, I'm bringing you back in for something a little silly. Okay. <laughs> if it, apparently not. Never mind. Just, just the logo. Nope. Silly. I guess not. I tested all of our videos and apparently that one didn't get in the test because I went through today and I was like, I'm going to test all the videos and make sure because I've been on a streak every day this week of one of my videos not working in the fast cast. Well, you know what it is. My weather graphics worked today when I even had a backup plan in place. Yep. So someone else's technology had to stop working. It's just <sighs> just the law of the way things are. <laughs> this is this is all because I'm going on vacation next week and I'm almost there and it's just like everything has to tumble down before and I'm like it's usually how it works. So close. Hey, we're closer to the weekend. We're almost yeah, there. We're, it's, we're it's almost Thursday, there, you guys. You know. Keep Demanding. chugging along. Yep. Okay, we'll leave you guys with a live look. I was going to tell you a funny story about a bear, but we'll save that story for another day, I guess. <laughs> <It's such> <laughs> There's so many promises. <laughs> Hope you guys. A story about a bear. <laughs> I hope you run into Jessica on the street someday and you're like, hey, what's that story about a bear? You never I guess, shared it on the news. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. Okay, we hope you guys have a great Thursday. We're back here again tomorrow. Liz is laughing at me.